okay while going through my regular read i happened to come across a great survey of linden linden is one platform which offers a lot of job opportunity at this point where the job uh, job markets are absolutely getting saturated what i happened to come across was this this technically driven report which serves as an mis or a, or a survey or a research to entire student is we uh, this particular read uh, talks about how the interviewer needs to prepare themselves what all set of questions they need to ask to the interviewee and what is that which which you should see from the interviewee perspective as to how he or she can respond so it's basically a hiring process so quickly catching to top traits of sales person ambition look for someone who has the drive to set goals and actually achieve them your ideal candidate should be striving to exceed quota and meet business goals what is integrity is successful sales employees focus on accuracy and radiate integrity determine whether a candidate has those traits by asking for a scenario a you know a case study maybe a scene a situation where they stood up for what they think they they were right for the third thing is adaptable or being adaptable a sales candidate should demonstrate an aptitude for critical and flexible thinking as well as the ability to excel in the fast paced environment where change is inevitable so adaptability customer centric any question centered around process and customer management should shine a light on candidate strategy for working with customers focus on how they navigate a sales scenario how they prepare plan and whether they act like a strategic partner or they are just an employee so it takes beyond uh, thought of being customer centric not considering them as an employee but also becoming part of the entrepreneurial skills required or desired from that particular candidate being proactive is aiming at a strong candidate who is one who who values growth opportunities candidates who not only provide situational examples of failure but also reveal how they learn from it demonstrate high emotional iq curiosity and leadership potential so these are the five different skills and let's say if we need to take uh, one question on each what it would be ambition for example you can always ask this where do you see yourself within our organization in 5 years so sample answer could be i in 5 years i would like to be considered as a mentor not just on the sales team but throughout the organization as a whole i'll also have taken the lead on a number of projects that help uh, your company succeed i'd love to be the type of employee you benchmark future hires against high performers should be able to list a series of accomplishments and achievements from their past which will help them predict their future success look for candidates who align their goals with your organization success and who treat this question as an exploration of ways they meet the job description this is the first question let's go to the second question on integrity tell me about a time when you had to handle a tough problem that challenged fairness or ethical issues what did you do the sample answer could be a few teammates inserted language in a proposal that overstated product benefits relevant to business needs i took steps to demonstrate why this language shouldn't be included referencing internal product documents and even looping in product managers to get a second opinion the decision to remove certain language wasn't welcome by the entire team but it was a right thing to do for the prospective client so what all things that you need to listen to is the answer reveals the candidate's ability to solve problems in the face of adversity and actually influences the process if 
the candidate doesn't present a specific experience or their scenario lacks complexity, it would be a red flag. No candidate will be perfect, but one who demonstrates that they were willing to go against popular opinion reveals their transparency and trustworthiness. This should translate to someone who values the longevity of client relationship over a short term sale. Let's also have a question for adaptability. Tell me about a time when the policy, price structure or product changed at the last minute and you already had a deal in the field. How did you handle such situation? And the sample answer could be, I called my contact as soon as possible to inform them of the changes, but not before I took the time to thoroughly understand the implication for the business. During the conversation, I tried to anticipate their potential concerns and presented a few different options for addressing them because I wanted to focus on the solution rather than the problem. By Flagging the change early and working with the customer to find a resolution together. I was able to maintain the trust in the relationship and secure the deal. And what is that you one need to listen to is an answer like this reveals a candidate who can think on their feet and shows creative problem solving to overcome challenges. Look for signs that a candidate can keep a positive attitude even under high pressure or while in a stressful situation. Adaptability. Let's go to customer centric question. You've got a new product to sell. Walk me through your sales process. And a an sample answer could be, I always begin by doing my homework. I want to know the ins and out of how the product works. This means curating product data sheets, case studies and various resources to make sure that I am armed with the right information to share with the prospective customers. I make sure to let the customer do a lot of the talking from the start so I can get a clear picture of what they need and where they can benefit from the product before I tailor the conversation around their particular challenges. And what is that which one should listen to is look for an answer that indicates that a candidate knows how to position themselves as a strategic consultant who helps people solve their business problems rather than just a salesperson. Moving on to the last one as a soft skill required how to be a proactive salesperson. Describe a time when you receive criticism or feedback from your sales manager or client. How did you react? And the sample answer could be, when I first got started in sales, I had the sales aspect of rolled down. But I struggled to manage my team against the high volume of leads that were in pipeline. After a review with my manager that indicated she was aware of these issues. I was determined to figure out a systematic approach to staying on top of prospecting and nurturing my book of leads. First, I defined the cadence of communication and used calendar tools to make sure I had reminders in place that allowed me to follow through on daily tasks and ensure that I had time to complete all the necessary activities to be effective in this role. And what is that one needs to listen to? Salesperson are accustomed to constant rejection, but they should be able to absorb criticism, analyze it and take actions to constantly improve. The best candidates are the ones who want feedback so they know what they can do to improve. They ask lots of questions and are accountable for mistakes and they also take action to remedy the situation quickly as early as possible. So these are five traits which a salesperson should necessarily possess not only possess but have a relevance of the logic of answering question with case studies and supporting argument if this is served i'm very sure 
that those candidates who are aspiring to become sales by choice would take a very informed decision and may grow substantially very very high job of a marketer is way different from what a sales person's job is we all know that marketing is a bigger picture and sales is just part of it hiring a great marketer can be even more difficult than hiring a great engineer or sales person marketing as a role tends to be amorphous so while it's difficult to pinpoint specific metrics of success in this field you can ask questions that help define the candidates understanding of marketing strategies and how they might approach specific challenges for example if soft skills that are looked as top traits for marketers would be one relationship builder strong marketers should be able to cultivate and foster relationships with everyone they work with both internally as well as externally the second trait that is observed with marketers is they need to be a good storyteller in the digital age effective marketers are glorified storytellers i might sound that a little dramatic but that's the fact one who's able to narrate it very subtly and smoothly those are the glorified storytellers candidate should be capable of crafting a compelling story that educates illuminates and excites so if these three things are kept in mind i'm very sure that the story becomes viable adaptable comes from the sales trait even to marketers Today's marketing landscape is ever evolving so flexibility is key. Find someone who's motivated, curious and interested in exploring new trends of technology. The fourth one is innovative. I don't know if this can be taught. Every job comes with challenges, but someone who can think outside of the box to communicate, create and drive results will be of a great valuable asset the last one is a trait as cultural add look for someone who can add to and more importantly elevate your culture in order to foster inclusion and diversity let's check what would be the possible questions to test or maybe testify all these five parameters in the marketers relationship builder question Tell me about a time when you had to work with a difficult colleague. What did you do to build the relationship? The simple answer could be in my previous role I worked with someone who had a particularly hard time communicating. I made a point to sync up with them outside of presentations, meeting them for lunch, organizing a brainstorming session beyond what what was originally scope for. until we finally got on the same page it helped out back on future rounds of creative presentations and ended up developing our partnership further and what is that one should look at is marketers should be team players look for non verbal cues that a candidate effectively collaborates with teammates most important ever for all the jobs Let's look at the second parameter storyteller. Give me a presentation on a topic you care a lot about. And the sample answer could be, did you know that there are over 7500 people living on the street in our community? I was shocked to hear this number, which is why I began volunteering with a local non-profit organization along with accepting individual donations. the organization throws an annual fundraiser to help raise awareness about the plight of those who are unsheltered and over the years i have held various positions with the organization which has allowed me to utilize my skills to support a cause i care about deeply now what is that which you should look at is search for clues in an answer that make it clear this candidate is a natural conversationalist who can 
craft a story with a compelling framework that both educates and excites their answer should reveal some expertise which will prove that they can passionately advocate for new projects let's move on to the next adaptability what could be the question tell me about a time when you were asked to do something you had never done before how did you approach the situation what did you learn an answer could be i love that this industry is always changing and there's always something new to learn when my company added a new client i wasn't super familiar with their technology so i took a couple of online courses well in advance of the project kick off so i was up to date on the latest and greatest i actually like taking on new types of projects it gives me an excuse to keep learning and what is that one should listen to is a curious marketer is often a successful one listen for phrases like keep learning in a candidate's answer because it shows their willingness to explore new trends processes and technology a candidate who is flexible and has the desire to continuously grow their their skill sets will be an asset to the team next question innovative the question is what is the most exciting project or program you have worked on what was your role and what impact did you have and the answer could be in my most recent role i was a key member of the team who brought to the market a new on the go dog treat i was responsible for leading the external communication launch and packaging designs and worked closely with the counterpart to handle the manufacturing and distribution the product was purchased by 80% of mainstream retailers and has seen two new iterations and what is that one should listen to is this candidate should highlight the candidate should highlight how they played an integral role in the project as well as its successes or failures they should also highlight key insights that are sharp and grounded in methodology it's important to articulate the pain point and consumer need next question is a cultural ad and the question could be what's the most interesting thing about you that's not on your resume an answer could be in my past life i was uh, while my work took me a lot of places one scenario i'll always remember is is the time i had to administer emergency that is cpr at the beach while on vacation a young girl was having trouble swimming and without a lifeguard on duty i stepped into action this was luckily a one time event but i have always been able to stay calm during stressful situation figure out solutions and act quickly what a way to answer and what is that you one should listen to is a candidate's response should be confident and unique find someone who will add culture and flair to your team not someone who fits the same same mold as other team members look for what gives them joy outside the 9 to 5 job be sure to identify underlying themes that can translate to the work setting passion tenacity dedication and creativity prepare well now since you know many things do a great justice to your uh, last year of your preparation in your colleges invest time and take help of lot of videos and readings like these i hope this research and survey would have gone a long long way it would definitely go a long long way in preparing yourself best not only for sales for marketers best wishing you a great luck we know that the world is moving very high on software engineers 
everybody the biggest job market which has been created as of now is coming from the software industry so software engineers have a vital role to play now when it comes to hiring software engineers what is the preparation that the recruiters do and what is that they need to look at let's highlight software engineers software engineers are some of the most sought after talent with the average engineer receiving three times as much as the recruiter interest on linkedin as the average member in this competitive hiring landscape finding top talent that excels in both hard and soft skills can be really really tough so let's figure out as to what all top soft skills you know qualify to become a top trait for even software engineers the first one is adaptable the top candidate will be as comfortable with day spent debugging and writing code as they are with navigating multiple programs one is adaptable second is team player great engineers know that no individual or team can make companies successful on their own they need to realize the importance of working together for a greater good or for the benefit of the company third trait which comes very discreetly is approachability the readiness to teach and help others means a candidate has built a strong rapport with their team in the past and that they are good communicator the fourth in the series is curiosity a willingness to embrace continuous learning is essential for successful engineers because trends and technologies are always evolving last one year with software engineers is takes ownership ownership independent thinkers can provide unique solutions to problems and have the ability to recognize when they need to work independently and when the help of colleagues is required let's take each and every personality trait and frame it in a question and seek the sample answers towards it first question for software engineers is adaptive on adaptability is in what kind of environment do you do your best work the sample answer could be there is something to be said for working in a large organization and the safety net that comes with being part of a big team however in my time working with a startup i learned much more about what it takes to make a business successful beyond just lines of code and what is that one should listen to is look for candidates whose answer show a real understanding of the demands of the role you are hiring for you want their answer to be realistic but also demonstrate awareness to the expectation of your specific organization number 2 how uh, one responds to a question of being a team player what distinguishes a great software engineer from a good one do you feel you have these qualities and the sample answer could be a great software engineer knows that they can't do everything and that it takes a team of people to get the job done i believe i have making of a great engineer in myself because i am willing to ask for help when i need it at the same time i know what i am good at when i can i offer my services in the places i excel it's all about balance really what to listen for in this particular answer is this question can provide insight into the thought process of a candidate look for an answer that shows initiative and communication skills traits often overlooked for someone in an engineer role this particular answer shows humility since they are also willing to ask for help a candidate who understands the difference between pragmatism and perfectionism will benefit your organization for sure 
Next question would be on approachability. Describe a situation where you had a positive effect on someone. What did you do? What did you do? How did the other person react? And a simple answer could be during a time of rapid growth in my last company, we were hiring engineers right out of college. At one point, I noticed a young developer struggling with their workload. I didn't want to point out that their struggle was evident, but casually offered a few tips I had learned over the years. Eventually, the employee came to me on their own and I was able to assist in a more official capacity. Just a few months later, I was able to ask that same developer for help on another project. And what is that one should look at is being approachable is essential in the role of a software engineer. You will want someone who knows how to work well with others and offers assistance for the greater good of the company. Curiosity. Let's have one question on curiosity. Do you have any hobbies outside of work? And the sample answer is, I'm a big believer in giving back. So I volunteer with a local nonprofit government organization that helps the homeless. It gives me a better sense of working with all kinds of people and understanding that everyone has different needs and motivations. And what is that one should listen to is, Someone who has a hunger for exploration is eager to learn too. A candidate with a curious mind is more willing to ask questions and might be more engaged in the office. They could also bring new ideas, perspectives or strategies to the business. Let's look at the next trait takes ownership. Let's have a question phrased on this. Discuss one of your previous projects that didn't go smoothly. Explain how you dealt with those challenges to complete the project successfully. The sample answer could be, when my team realized a deadline could be missed, I opened up a dialogue with other stakeholders and quickly determined that the best course of action was to strip back some of the less crucial features to allow us to launch on time with a functioning product. What is that one should look at? In the answer is this question allows you to identify whether the candidate can take control. Even if they generally work alone, it can help you understand their other skills such as time and project management. Of course, the conclusion would be drawn here that as a hiring manager, you have got a tough job ahead of you. Finding a candidate who meets all the necessary criteria in 30 minutes of an interview is no small task at all. With this video recording, we are trying our level best to make the two ends understand that a sample interview question and answer for today's most in demand job as well as tips for analyzing every answer would be of great help. Use them as a guide in your own interview if you are an interviewer and if you are an interviewee, it gives you immense opportunity to tell something about yourself in this particular direction. The objective set is very very clear that today's scenario is a toughest one. We all know that we are going through a, a tough torrid time where there will be less jobs but good material will always find place. When we see the analysis of jobs being missed by many, we only come to know that there is some readiness flaw, that preparedness flaw which in time if you could have oriented yourself or exposed to, you would have certainly mastered it. So it's always your preparation starting early and getting started to know what it takes to prepare well and once you are shown that kind of an experience through such learning, I think you are more than prepared as it sounds. So 
year is year we all are wishing you great great luck prepare well now since you know many things do a great justice to your uh, last year of your preparation in your colleges invest time and take help of lot of videos and readings like these i hope this research and survey would have gone a long long way it would definitely go a long long way in preparing yourself best not only for sales for marketers but also in the software industry which is a great industry which is emerging ever emerging industry even in the future yes wishing you a great luck